What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we've got another viewer's car. This is Hajar's 2018 Mercedes-Benz CLS 450 formatic and this car has a couple of very nice modifications on it so today I'm going to show you around it and then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast Ooh. So Hajar has recently bought this car a few months ago and it was like this. It has a stage 1.5 tune on it. So it's called an ECU tune and a downpipe. It also has different tailpipes, a diffuser, and it's got the Panamericana grill, as you can see. Now, the previous owner or the one who sold it told Hajar that it's got 500 horsepower, but uh, we're not so sure. We think it's got around 450 horsepower. So the previous owner has done a couple of things to make this car look like a CLS 53, basically. So we've got the Panamericana grille, uh, which you see on a lot of cars these days. A lot of people retrofit the Panamericana grille to their cars. So you see them more often than not. I actually prefer the front of the regular CLS 450. Wheels, 20 inch optional uh, you could also get 18 or 19 inch and then behind that we've got the regular mercedes brakes michelin pilot sport three tires around that this is an edition one so that means that you get this magno gray matte color which you see a lot on the cls and then the rear as i said we've got the exhaust basically from a 53 amg or at least it is made to look like that with a carbon diffuser as well pretty nice rear end although i still haven't really gotten used to those rear lights they they look kind of sad to me like they're a bit droopy but all in all it is a very nice car little carbon spoiler as well and well of course mercedes basically invented this segment the four-door coupe with the original cls back in 2000 four i want to say a long time ago and a lot of companies have since copied them basically and uh, have come out with four-door coupes of their own but this is the og and then the 450 gets a six-cylinder turbocharged engine it's an inline six three liter with 367 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque with eq boost a little battery boost of 22 horsepower and 250 newton meters but that is very short and yeah you don't really feel that it is just there to fill out uh, some of the gaps now as i said this car does have an ecu tune and uh, we don't know the exact power but i'm going to put it in the 450 horsepower range because it is actually a bit faster than a CLS 53 AMG. We also tested that. And uh, well, yeah, so yeah, 450 horsepower, somewhere along those lines. So it is pretty nice. And then uh, it's got a DCAT downpipe on it, which is a mod that I would change. If I were Hajar, I would, I would go for a 200 cell downpipe because um, yeah, it, this is pretty loud. And it is also pretty loud when you just want to cruise on the highway it is always there and you don't have that problem with a 200 cell or a 300 cell catalytic converter downpipe and i think hajar actually said this morning that he thought it was a bit louder than he was expecting uh, he was going for something you know comfortable with the cls and then apparently you know this car has a decat downpipe and it is a bit louder than he thought it would be now on the interior as you can see edition one edition one on the floor mats as well and an addition one on the side as well and this beautiful black wood which i really like because you have that grain in there and you can actually feel it super nice this raw feel bare wood super nice and of course the lovely climate vents that just click into place with a little magnet oh that is so satisfying of course the ambient lighting as well this is a nice interior the seats super comfy as well with a diamond stitch in there also for the edition one and i mean yeah it is a really nice place to be 
quite spacious in the rear as well although of course because you have a coupe roof line you do lose out on a bit of headspace but other than that it is a super super spacious and nice and light car it is a very good car to do long distances with. Now Hajar actually told us something new, which is a loud start, uh, which apparently this car has. So if you do the regular start, it uses that EQ boost as a starter uh, as well. So you have a very quick startup, but if you engage and go to Sport Plus, and then you pull the right pedal and press the start button, You get the loudmouth start, uh, which I didn't know. So that is pretty cool. Already learned something new. And then sound wise, it is a lot louder than stock. You get some lovely crackles on the upshift as well. And it actually sounds pretty good. So with a regular 450, of course, you do have a nice six cylinder sound, but this just adds to the experience a little bit. Handling wise, because we have those 20 inch wheels, sometimes you do feel shorter, small irregularities, but you know, if you go for 18 or 19 inch, those will be gone, I think. The suspension overall is super comfy. Power-wise, also a very nice upgrade. It can definitely handle that 450 horsepower. And of course, it is now also more powerful than the 53, which has 435. So linked to that inline six, we've got the nine G-Tronic nine-speed automatic gearbox which is not the best response to the pedal is pretty damn sluggish watch this there is a big delay so a tcu remap for this car would be great i think with a bit more you know a gearbox that just pays a bit more attention basically and it would probably be more able to cope with the extra power as well because now sometimes it feels like it doesn't really know what's happening alrighty let's go on to the Autobahn now as you can hear the sound is still there which is pretty nice it is volume wise I would say that this is a good amount of sound for this car and we are now also nearing the top speed 256 on the speedo that's the limiter so 257 briefly there limit is still there now we also measured the 100 to 200 km an hour performance of course and uh, we did an 11.5 second run which as i said led us to believe that it is around 450 horsepower we measured the cls 53 amg at 11.95 so it is a bit faster than that car and as you can see you know it reaches that 256 57 relatively easily and then it even shifts up super comfy this is an amazing cruiser i mean long distances in this car would be great it is just that let me slow down a little bit to like a regular highway speed and you can still hear the exhaust and that is down to that downpipe if you would have a 200 cell it would die down a little bit more it also smells a little bit sometimes that is also how you know that it is a decat anyway 4.8 seconds 0 to 100 for the stock car this car we did a 4.5 pretty decent <laughs> yeah it is 
it is just very very capable as a long distance cruiser so i really think that if hajar would put a 200 cell downpipe on this car you would have it all you would have a more quiet driving experience than this still have a little bit more six cylinder sound and you can just feel that mercedes never intended this to be a super sporty four-door coupe that is what they've got that amg gt four-door for this they only made a 53 amg they never made a 63 it is intended to fill the gap between an e-class and an s-class basically it is more luxurious more elegant as well than an e-class of course but not as soft and plushy as an s-class so it is a very nice middle ground and of course it is just a cool looking car in general so hajar congrats on your new car i really like it man the way this thing just absorbs those bumps at 250 is pretty impressive even with those 20 inch wheels and that is it i'm going to end it here i hope you enjoyed it you can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle you can also check out this video on the right or this playlist on the left see you in the next one bye